Sony has taken a different approach with PlayStation VR than their competitors. Where Oculus and Vive have experimented and iterated resulting in a family of headsets to choose from, PlayStation gamers are essentially using the exact same headset four years after launch. Keeping things simple and using the existing tech for as long as possible is the console strategy, and it's been working since before the NES days. But that also means if you haven't bought a PlayStation VR yet, you might be hesitant to jump in. So here are the top five reasons why you should still consider buying PSVR in 2020. When the headset launched back in 2016, the bare-bones bundle that only came with the necessities – a headset, camera, breakout box, and demo disc – cost $400 on its own. It was untested, expensive, and we had no idea if Sony would keep supporting the thing. Nowadays, though, you can easily grab a bundle that also includes a set of two hard-to-find move controllers and a brand new game – an extra $140 worth of stuff – for just $350, basically bringing the headset down to about half the price it was at launch a feat that even the PlayStation 4 console itself hasn't accomplished in seven years. Okay, okay, so you're jumping in a little late, but let's be honest, that's the most financially responsible thing you can do. There are over 500 games and experiences on the PlayStation Store, and as expected, they're cheaper now than they've ever been, with the occasional sale making padding out your game collection easier than ever. And for the first time PSVR gamer, there are games in practically every genre available. If you love indie titles, nothing beats the quirkiness of Static, Headmaster, Ghost Giant, and I Expect You to Die. Open world RPG gamers can spend hundreds of hours in Skyrim VR. First person shooter fanatics will love Farpoint. Racing fans will have their minds blown with Wipeout Omega Collection, and if you're a horror game fan like me, the list of truly terrifying, nightmare-inducing games will make your neighbor's silly little annual haunted house feel like a Saturday morning cartoon. Interestingly enough, you might already have a library of PSVR games just waiting to be played. If you're a PlayStation Plus subscriber, PSVR exclusives like Firewall Zero Hour, Rigs, and Until Dawn Rush of Blood have all been free at one time or another, so hopefully you added them to your library, knowing that one day you'd be making this awesome decision. But there are actually a bunch of games you might have bought that are also playable in VR, or have PSVR modes included right there on the disc or included with the download. Wipeout Omega Collection, Volume, Paranormal Activity, Falcon Age, Tetris Effect, Rise of the Tomb Raider, The Persistence, Race the Sun, No Man's Sky Beyond, Gran Turismo Sport, Demo Reborn, Ace Combat 7, and a slew of others all came packed with a VR mode, giving some of your favorite games an even more immersive way to play them. The last thing we want to do is engage in silly console wars, but when looking at PlayStation VR exclusives, it's hard not to be impressed by the sheer number of awesome titles that you just won't find anywhere else. Iron Man VR, Resident Evil 7, Astrobot Rescue Mission, Derosine, Blood and Truth, Farpoint, Everybody's Golf VR, and so many more show that Sony, as a hardware manufacturer and game developer, is committed to VR as much as, or possibly more than, any of their competitors. Buying anything current-gen this late in a console's lifespan is bound to trigger your spidey senses. But fear not, as you gradually make your way through PlayStation VR's enormous back catalog, expect to see a lot of new games coming down the pipeline for the foreseeable future. The big one is obviously Star Wars Squadrons, but there are plenty more to be excited for. And as our community gears up for the launch of PlayStation 5, don't forget that the current PSVR headset will be forwards compatible. In other words, you'll be able to use it on the PlayStation 5. So is PlayStation VR still worth picking up in 2020? Absolutely, and potentially worth it now more than ever. <laughs>